Well, on to the banking sector now. And after UBS reported a massive 7 billion euro first quarter loss yesterday, today Germany's second largest bank, Commerzbank, unveiled its first quarter figures. The bank had to write down 244 million euros in the first quarter, but still turned a profit. It sounded too good to be true, and as always, it was. Attractively priced packaged loans promising high returns based on the U.S. housing market. Few major banks could resist the lure of subprime mortgage-backed securities. Commerzbank is only one of many. Commerzbank's first quarter profits have slumped 50 percent year-on-year to 280 million euros. But others have been far harder hit. Switzerland's UBS turned in a massive 7 billion euro loss. Deutsche Bank reported a 141 million euro loss in the first quarter. And in financial institutions worldwide, the subprime mortgage crisis has caused more than 200 billion euros in write-offs altogether. The crisis appears to have infected the entire global financial system with no end in sight. Analysts estimate that German banks face further write-offs of some 10 to 12 billion euros. So Commerzbank came out looking pretty good. Its shares rose by 1.6 percent this Wednesday and staying in the banking sector. One of Germany's biggest state banks, Bayern LB, was hit a bit harder in the first quarter. It reported a 770 million euro pre-tax loss over the first three months of the year. That loss was largely attributed to write downs tied to bad investments in the U.S. real estate market. Bayern LB has lost a total of 4.3 billion euros since the emergence of the subprime debacle of last summer. In order to keep the bank solvent, analysts expect taxpayers will have to step in and give the bank fresh capital.